Hi and a warm welcome to the workshop Slided Baby, my personal bottleneck Waldzitter experience. In this workshop, I am going to be showing you my personal approach to the bottleneck or slide Waldzitter style. So, this workshop consists of various parts and lessons. In part A, I am going to be giving you an introduction to the overall topic, so I will explain to you what a Waldzitter is and I will show you various types of bottlenecks. In part B, I will show you some basic exercises that you can use for learning and improving your bottleneck competence. So this will be very practical exercises. In part C, I will give you examples of some simple licks. You may use these licks, you may alter them and use them for developing your own style, of course. Part D is dedicated to the blues, so I will give you some examples on how to play blues or blues related tunes and chords on the Waldsitter. And there you will have some more practice opportunities as well. Part E will be on folk. So this is virtually the same approach as in the part D, but here you find examples of how to play folk on this nice instrument. In part F, I will give you some ideas on possibly how to play rock music or rock related music on the wild sitter. But this will, I think, only be a marginal, though quite interesting part in my course. And of course, G, this will be the final workshop. There I will give you some piece that you can study and maybe use for developing your own material. So, at first, let me explain to you basically what the heck is a Waldsitter. Well, the Waldsitter is a kind of sittern or sither. In general, a sittern is a stringed instrument dating from the Renaissance. We may say that the Waldsitter is the typically German sittern or sither. Like nearly all sitterns or sithers, it looks a little bit like a lute or a guitar. But we should bear in mind that these groups of instruments are all string instruments, of course, but each of them is a separate subgroup of string instruments. Guitars normally have a flat and, well, more or less pear-shaped body. Lutes have a round body, but sitterns have a flat and drop-shaped body. So there are differences in the construction and the design of their instruments. The German Waldzitter was invented around 1900, especially in the eastern parts of Germany, for example in Thüringen. This is why the full name of this instrument is Thüringer Waldzitter. As already mentioned, Sitterns came up in the Renaissance and also in the Middle Ages, but seemed doomed to oblivion in the 19th century. But during the 20th century, um, it was, or they were, discovered in the German Volksmusik, which was especially fostered by the Jugendbewegung and the Wandervogelbewegung. After the Second World War, purchasing a Waldzitter, a German Thüringer Waldzitter, was almost impossible, since due to the emergence of two separate German states after the German division, the majority of producers in the east of Germany was separated from the majority of potential customers in the western states, for example in the Rhineland or in the Ruhrgebiet. Since the 1970s, the interest in the Waldsitter has risen again due to artists that started playing folk music, even with this instrument. The biannual Sistern Symposium, um, formerly known as Waldsitter Symposium, which has taken place since 2003 in Suhl, Thüringen, Germany, is an important and interesting um, event for professional and lay musicians, historians and researchers, 
with a special interest in the Waldsitter or in Sithens um, in general. It was by mere accident that I discovered the possibility of playing a Waldsitter with a glass bottleneck which evoked the idea of this workshop. Due to my personal musical experience, I will focus on the German Sither, which people call Waldsitter or sometimes German Buzuki. My instrument is a nine-string tenor Waldsitter with an open C tuning. So those of you who are familiar with open guitar tunings, especially open E, open G, or maybe even open A, may consider it easy to adapt their guitar styles to the Waldsitter. <laughs> 